Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a theory on the Foot Soldiers and Power Rangers Dino Charge and Power Rangers Dino Supercharge. Today I'm going to do a theory on the Vivix. Now if you don't know, the Vivix were the, one of the main soldiers Sledge do. Now if you don't remember, Sledge is one of the main villains of this season of Power Rangers. He was obsessed was trying to get the inner gems, the source of this ranger's power. He's an alien bounty hunter who uses the prisoners he has to try to get them. But he also uses his Vivix army to try to get them as well. But something seems off about them. Don't they look kind of plant-like to you? Now they probably explain this in the Super Sentai show, the season of Power Rangers is based off. But I'm not going to use that as an explanation. Because I feel like this season probably changed a lot. With one of the most notable being Sledge, who's not even in that Super Sentai season. Now the reason they did that was because in that Super Sentai, the villains didn't have a boss. They were mostly working together. However, that did change... When a leader showed up, but I'm not going to talk about that. Today, I'm going to theorize, what if the Vivix came from Greenzilla? Now, admittedly, I know that sounds weird, but hear me out. Notice what the Vivix look like when they all combine together to create the Vivix sword, or whatever you call it. Now, if you still don't know what I mean, just look at them compared with each other. Now, if you're probably wondering what even is a Greenzilla, well, it's one of Sludge's most dangerous monsters he captured. Just watch. Now, what if when Sledge captured it, him and Wrench tore pieces of it apart, poured some toxic chemicals on them to prevent them from regrowing like how starfish regrow? And force what did regrow to be their slaves. After all, look at the Vivix. They look pretty plant-like with their hair. And they're noticeably way dumber than these other soldiers Sledge has working for him. And just look how the Vivix handled dangerous chemicals. And also look how the Vivix are summoned. They look like they're growing like plants. Now you could say this is teleportation, you could not, I don't care. But look what the monster says in the last episode of Power Rangers Dino Supercharge, which was a Christmas special no less. <laughs> now for context, the Rangers went back in time to stop Sledge for good and to prevent the Earth from getting sucked into a black hole. But apparently one space outlaw survived. Stealing my elves! Why weren't you destroyed with the other monsters? Well, just as Sledge was heading towards the sun, I'll make you pay for this keeper! This is the last thing I do! I'll 
take that last part. Hey, Hexamus! You're supposed to ride in a sleigh! For 65 million years I worked, perfecting my cursed coal formula! Growing Vivix! All for this moment! 65 million years? This must be one jolly good plan. Thanks for the compliment, Ranger. It'll be your last. He says he's been growing Vivex. He says nothing about summoning them. He says growing. Perhaps whenever a Vivex dies, it leaves behind seeds. And that's how he's been growing them. Now, my further proof that the Vivex are mutation plant things is just look how Sledge treats them compared to his other soldiers. Notice how Sledge got more upset when those blue soldiers got destroyed. Bottom line is, I think the Vivix are mutation plant creatures, and the blue soldiers are just hired help. <laughs> 